Today we're going to be looking at fractions of quantities. To help us to understand fractions of quantities, let's first take a look at this scenario. If you ate two fifths of a cake, what might that look like? You might imagine a circular cake cut into five slices. You take two slices away so that you are left with three slices. To find a fraction of a quantity, we must first divide the quantity by the denominator of the fraction. In our case, we divided the cake into five pieces. The second step is to take the answer and multiply it by the numerator of the fraction. We take one piece, which is one fifth of a cake, and multiply it by two to get two fifths of a cake. Here's our first scenario. There are 900 children at a school. One sixth of the children play soccer. How many children play soccer? First, we'll take the 900 children and we'll divide it by the denominator, which is 6. We'll then be left with 150 children. B. Three-fifths of the children catch a bus to school. How many children catch the bus to school? We'll take the 900 children again, and here we're going to divide by 5, which is the denominator. We'll be left with 180. This represents one-fifth of the children. Take 180 and then multiply the new by the numerator, which is 3. We'll then be left with 540 children. Hence, 540 children catch the bus to school and 150 children play soccer. Here are some more examples. Find two-thirds of 270 centimetres. The first thing we're going to do is take 270 and divide by the denominator, which is 3. We'll then be left with 90 centimetres. Take the 90 centimetres and multiply by the numerator, which is 2. 90 multiplied by 2 will give us 180 centimetres. In our next example, we want to find 7 eighths of 64 kilometres. Take 64, divide by the denominator, which is 8. So we're left with 8 kilometres. Take the 8 kilometres and multiply by the numerator, which is 7. So we'll be left with um, 56 kilometres. And in our last example, we have 6 fifteenths of 120 litres. Take 120, divide by 15, which will give us 8 litres. Take the 8 litres and multiply by the numerator, which is 6. So we are left with 48 litres. Here is our last example. Here we'll be looking at fractions of an hour. The first thing we need to do is convert one hour into minutes. So we have 60 minutes. We want to find one quarter of an hour. So the same as finding a quarter of 60 minutes. So we're going to take 60 and we're going to divide by four. So we'll be left with 15 minutes. In B, we want to find four-fifths of an hour. We'll take our 60 minutes divided by five, which will give us 12 minutes. Take 12 and multiply by our numerator, which is four. So we're left with 48 minutes. In C, we want five-sixths of an hour. Take 60 minutes divided by six. So we have 10 minutes and then take 10 minutes and multiply by five, which will give us 50 minutes. So here for A, we've got 15 minutes, B, 48 minutes, and C, 50 minutes.